I'm ready for the elections. My voter's card is here, as you can see. See, I've been voting now for a while, for a few years, but this forthcoming general election cycle is like no other. Just going by the enthusiasm it has generated compared to previous patterns of voting apathy. I believe this surging interest is being driven by the obvious lack and in some instances penury that prevails in the polity. Everyone is affected. Everyone is affected. I am affected, you are affected. May I remind you that the forthcoming elections are not only for the president. There is also the National Assembly elections on February 25 and elections for 28 of the 36 governorships and state house of assemblies will follow on Saturday, March 11. Now, my choice of who to vote for is guided by three factors. One, the manifestos of each contestant, through which I've narrowed down to the top, top three in my own evaluation, see slides two to four. Two, there are visible measurable past records in leadership. Note that I said leadership and not governance. Leadership derives from being reliable, credible, and the ability to connect emotionally with your followers. And three, my estimation of their current and perceived capacity, their ability, and social capital in sustaining two. While I have only one vote, that vote is for the individual that I believe in at the forthcoming federal and state elections. I am from Iludu in Kwara State, but I was born in Kaduna, and I lived and schooled in Kano up until my early 20s. Yes. Then I attended a federal unity school, federal government college, Lagos Ejaniki, where I established lasting friendships with fellow Nigerians from all parts of Nigeria, some who remain my closest and most trusted relationships to date. My work has also taken me all over Nigeria, meeting good people everywhere I have worked and lived. Through the years, I have observed and learned to recognize that there would always be diverging views. Yes, and I respect that. We all can't and should not agree on everything for the fact that no one person also knows it all or can be right all the time. There are good Nigerians in every region, in every religion, just as there are few bad ones too. But I don't see tribe, religion, age or party when I relate with people I don't. You see, the same way I don't check the tribe, religion, age, or party of my doctor when I go for my now regular medical appointment, nor my mechanic when I go to fix my car, or the tribe, religion, age, or party of the individual I choose to attend to me at the store I buy my groceries from, or from the e-taxi when I opt to take one. I don't check. I don't. I don't. I simply patronize the individual that provides the value that aligns with my values when I am in need. That is why I'll be voting across party lines for the individuals that I believe in at the forthcoming federal and state elections. Yes, across party lines. That way, I will be at peace with my one vote. So help me God. <laughs>